I hope you guys are having an excellent night out there. It is Friday night. It is January 31st, 2020. Hey, for those of you guys that do not know me, my name is Jamison Sharp. They call me Doc. And the reason for the video is this. I wanted to sit down and share with you what, I, what I'm doing, what I'm up to, and where I am. It's really neat. Uh, I travel. I literally stopped what I was doing in Kansas City, stopped everything, and traveled all halfway across the country to lead and partner in a congressional campaign. All right. As a uh, special forces, Green Beret, veteran, brother, needed someone with experience and no strategy to come out and pave the way forward. And I feel incredibly humbled he would ask me to do that, he would be open to do that, and here I am. So here we are. I mean, literally 20, what, 20 some hours ago, I was in D.C. I was out in D.C. and uh, met some incredible contacts. By the way, you're probably asking yourself, what qualifies you, of all people, to lead a congressional campaign? What qualifies you? That's a good question. And I want to tell you exactly what my qualities are and what experience I have. I've never, never led a congressional campaign before, but I do have experience in campaigns and elections. I do. I made a big, big impact in Kansas City on the mayoral election. I did. Don't go look it up. It's interesting. I also was a press secretary for Missouri Representative Congressman. Was. And right, people know me around that town. They do. And I started it just some scratches from nothing. I just taking the initiative. Taking my myself to people's doorstep, knocking on the doors and hoping for the best. And it worked. All right. But you ha have to be able to deal with the big swings. You have to be able to deal with people rejecting you and tossing you out on the curb. A lot of people can't handle those things. I get it. I understand. I really do. So what experience do I have that qualifies me to come out here and help someone that I, you know, I barely know, except, uh, you know, we, we know of each other, in, in helping this, you know, run for Congress? Well, I came out here to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to help my veteran brother. Because he needs me. His message is on point. He's a good steward. And he can, the people around him wanted him to run. All right. Because they see he would be a good fit to represent his people in his district. He's running for the 17th district. Uh, right outside of, right outside the border of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And the 17th congressional district outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And look. You don't run for a federal seat like this and, and, and not have an issue, okay? Let's talk about some of the issues real quick that usually are raised on the table during a congressional campaign. And by the way, if you don't have a strategy or know what you're doing with this, it's going to fall flat. It's going to go nowhere, and you're going to have a hell of a time getting up and making a good headway in your campaign. But if you are able to bring the issues of the people and put them on the stage for everyone to look at, analyze, and possibly create legislation for soon down the road, you have a good chance of being coming elected. There is a whole mixture of things that goes into becoming an elected official. All right, it's all strategy driven. And you must, it's nice, you must be able to, to step into the void of uncertainty and move forward. And that's what I'm doing here. All right. So some of the issues that, some of the key issues that really decide elections are these. Um, the economy, the national debt, health care, taxes. Why do we have so many taxes that keep getting worse and worse? Why can't we have a flat tax? Look, why can't we have competitiveness in our economy? Socialism doesn't work. We've seen that with the Soviet Union. We've seen that with uh, the socialists of World War II and Hitler and all them. The fascists, we saw that. I mean, I wasn't a political guy, all right? But literally a year and a half ago, I had to draw a line in the sand. It's like, where do I stand? 
You know, I don't care if you're a Democrat. I don't care if you're an independent or a Republican or whatever. People are just trying to do better with themselves and in their lives. The working class wants to prosper, take care of their families, and try to reach the American dream. Would you agree? I hope you would. They want to do better for themselves. I get it. And you know, when you think about it, national politics has become a circus. It truly has. You got the left and right. We are so divided as a nation right now. It is it's absolutely incredible. All right, if you think about it. Just something to think about. Anyways, back to what, you know, I'm doing here and what qualifies me to be here. Well, the truth is, it's all about confidence. If you got confidence in someone, they can come in and truly help. You're a winner. All right? If you can actually do some good, you can actually help where others have failed. You'll be all right. You know, look, I have a media background. I mean, my media background is a force to be reckoned with. Reckon with, all right? Let's be clear about that. I can make documentary films. I know how to do video, all right? I know how to do the video strategy. I know content strategy. There's all these marketing things I have inside me from years of experience and learning. And it's helped a lot of nonprofits along the way because I did it all for free. I did. Even when I did my campaigns, I did it all for free. I did. You know? If you do not, ex look, you come into an environment like this, you have to be entrepreneurial. You're starting out with nothing. You have nothing. You got to get out there and knock on doors. Not be afraid of the rejection because it's going to hit you from every which way. Right? How do you deal with that? Well, you just deal with it and you move on. All right? And my media background is going to help this campaign so, so much. And it's already creating an impact right now. And I've only been here for less than a week. It's creating an impact. All right? Look, my media contacts for journalists and reporters is vast, all right? My Carl Rove trained and instructed me. That's another nail that qualifies me. I mean, he really did. And I'm very attuned to shaking up the campaigns locally, shaking up the issues, and raising the issues, putting them on the table, and creating attention for the candidate. And that's what I'm doing. And I have strategic and vital relationships all over the country, but especially I have a few in D.C. that are very influential and taking full advantage of it. Look, me and, me, me and Brian got my brother run for Congress up here in Pittsburgh. Look, we're veterans. We get a vast network of uh, contacts, but what you do with those contacts is crucial to your, you know, success. Because the truth is, you're not going to call someone up on the phone and say, I need this and that and this, and they're going to help you out. That's not how this thing works. They're going to help you out because they believe in you. They're going to help you out because they believe in what you're the cause you're trying to improve. They're going to help you out because you're trying to help the community out. And for God's sakes, you know what else? You're trying to solve a problem, the community's problems. That's another reason they're going to help you out. If you don't give incentives for people to, or value up front for people to help you, you won't get anywhere. That's why you got to be entrepreneurial. You cannot be afraid of rejection. You're going to get it from everywhere. I was literally in this nice hotel in D.C. the other day pitching a Democrat that can really give to the campaign. You know, the Democrat who came this close. I walked him right up to the line. But you know why I didn't take his credit card information? Because he was drinking. I would, I, no. I got him, walked him right up to the line. He's getting ready to do it, but no. And you know what? I don't, I wouldn't expect anyone to give anything. They didn't believe in the cause. They didn't believe what we're doing is right. They didn't believe they were in a situation they could give. Wouldn't expect anyone to do that. Yeah. You know, raising the conversation is important. Raising the conversation on the issues is vital to the success of a congressional campaign. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I mean, I'm just sitting here.
knocking this thing out. Anyways, that's all I got. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Like I always say at the end of my videos, good night and good luck. Take care. Have a good one.